Hello YouTube, Kubato Gaming here, playing some Simple Planes. Yes folks, we are back in Simple Planes, and yes folks, this is one of my ugly aircraft that I have made. I've been experimenting with the editing system, and I'm still getting used to it. Uh, I decided to try to make a jet, and you know what? I'm actually fairly proud with what I've came up with. It's not the best design, but uh, I was trying to make it resemble somewhat a uh, MiG-21. Now there's some very key differences, and I'm not saying this is a MiG-21, but it's uh, body-wise, it's a little bit close. But anyways, I've uh, been doing some testing here with it. Uh, I've had some issues with it so far, but uh, I feel like I've gotten most of the bugs worked out. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this. Uh, so we're going to do this. We're also going to check out a couple planes that I've downloaded off the uh, Simple Planes website to kind of get my uh, creative juices flowing. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to show you guys how this thing works. Now, do keep in mind, I'm still very, very new to the, uh, the editor. I've been learning a lot about how to shape the planes, how to make them work a little bit more efficiently. And this plane is actually fairly balanced. I was having some very, very bad issues. Uh, to begin with, this plane used to do a uh, backflip on takeoff. Like, it used to just shoot straight up, and it was uncontrollable. And then, it used to not lift at all, so... I uh, worked out all the issues. It's uh, quite agile. I will have to say, this thing rolls probably... At least with my experience with the uh, jets, it's probably one of the fastest rolling jets that I've seen. I mean, that is... That's pretty insane. I couldn't imagine the G's you'd be pulling in that. So you've got that. Uh, it goes up and down, it pitches up and down really good. Uh, it does have its only issue, and I've seen this with other jets, and it's really just a, a matter of balance. Uh, the yaw, uh, when you yaw it out left and right, it does get, its I guess it's called like a wiggle, uh, and you can see it sometimes where it seems a little unbalanced, and that's a little bit due to the weight, so I'm going to shift around the fuel a bit and see if I can make that a bit better. It was actually uh, worse uh, when I first started. Like, this thing would shake so bad. But yeah, pretty agile. Uh, we've got our guns on the wings there. I was going to go with, like, a minigun. I think the MiG has, like, a minigun uh, right off to the side uh, on the, uh, kind of by the nose cone, if I'm not mistaken. Or actually, you know, the MiG's not really... I don't think it has a nose cone. I keep saying nose cone, but I believe on the MiG, it's like a, a smaller point and I think the inlet is actually around it on here I've got the inlets to the side but yeah let's go ahead I want to actually try out the weapon system on here let's see if these rockets work uh, that's one thing I don't have much experience with uh, let's try to position I I'm really picky about my camera here there we go so let's go ahead turn on our air-to-air -air mode and see if we can find us a target in the area I think our first planes actually just appeared. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. So I'm going to actually shoot it down. Oh, that thing doesn't have a chance. There we go. Boom! That feels almost extremely wrong. It's like, hey, look, there's the first creation. It flew in, and oh, there's the bits and pieces. Well, that thing's down. Uh, what do we got here? The tutorial plane is also in the area, so let's go ahead and use our other missile here. Now I know immediately that I need more missiles, so... Uh, I don't think any of those planes have weapons, so it's like kind of seems like an unfair fight so took those out let's go ahead and switch to air to ground mode I don't know if we really have any ground targets to take out uh, we can go check let's see there's not much land in this map I need to download a couple more maps uh, you've got all these mountain ranges but I don't think there's actually gonna be any targets down there but yeah that worked better than expected I just needed those some more rockets I'll probably do that stack uh, they have like a stack of three so we'll do that uh, the only other issue I can think of is my landing with this craft. I need to install, I've been debating on where to stick air brakes on it, because right now it doesn't have any, so you pretty much need to kill the motor really soon and come absolutely crawling in to land. And I haven't done that successfully yet, so uh, we're going to go around to the runway, attempt to do that. <laughs> Alright, here we are. The runway is right around the mountain here, and... I've pretty much already killed my jets. That's kind of how this has to work. Now, I think I can stick those air brakes on the body, kind of on the slanted pieces, or at least the red pieces. I think that's where they're going to go, but yeah, we're going to just crawl in here and see if I can attempt to land. I'm not the best at landing. As, as you remember last episode, I tried to land a 737 on an aircraft carrier, and that didn't work out, and actually, we're coming in too slow here. Give it a little bit of, little bit of I don't want to say gas. I don't know why I say gas. A little bit of throttle, so we're going to do that. Uh, let's see, we're going to need to pitch up, and we're going to try to come down here. But yeah, I 
I'm kind of wondering, can you land on aircraft carriers? Because normally those run off like a hook system. So I'm not really sure how that works in the game. And ooh, this might be bad. This could be bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, don't, don't dig, don't dig. As long as it doesn't dig in, we're good. Uh, okay, brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, no, 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 don't carry. Okay, this is, this is bad. This is bad. I can't slow it down. I have no other, like, additional brakes ex except for the uh, landing gear. Come on. Oh, slow down. I'm trying to get it to slow down. I don't want to go off the runway. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> yes. Uh, kind of, we're going to power slide in here, but yes, still, that is awesome. Oh, that is my first successful landing in my jet. I'm actually proud of that. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious, and as we look at a couple of these other vehicles, I'm trying to figure out how do we do these uh, the decals that they do on a lot of the custom jets. So as soon as I figure that out and do some more tweaking, I'll be happy uh, with the way this jet came out. But anyways, let's go check out some other creations. And now I'm instantly sad about the way mine looks. This thing looks so awesome. This is the MiG-31 Foxhound made by Maverick. I'll flash it up on screen and I'll put his link in the description if you want to go download this off Simple Planes website. This thing is sweet. Uh, now, I said mine kind of looks like a MiG-21. This is like a later model. Of course, this is the MiG-31. I love the way this thing looks. It looks mean, so uh, let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. Get the cursor. Uh, I think I like the camera about uh, probably right there. Like I said, I am picky about the camera. Something about moving around. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, DCS World recently. Uh, I've been doing some flight sims, and I've got my VR headset. Uh, that is absolutely awesome. So I kind of wish this thing had a cockpit. Of course, I wouldn't do it in VR. It doesn't... I don't know if it looked look right, but... I don't know. I just like that, or I like this chase camera. This thing's actually nice. Uh, it's heavy. Now, I know the MiG is actually a fairly heavy aircraft. Uh, and this thing, it feels heavy. It rolls nice. It doesn't roll as fast as mine, but this thing looks like it's got more weight. It's got a little bit more stuff to it. Of course, you're carrying the... Uh, I guess those are fuel tanks on the side and you've got the missiles. Okay, we are looking for an air target here. We've got a bomber about eight miles out. Let's go ahead and test its systems out. Uh, whoa. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that y'all wobble too. Uh, this one's actually, it feels like it wobbles a bit more. I don't really know what's creating that. It just might be the balance, but uh, it's controllable. It doesn't actually shoot out of control, so that's really nice. I think I can handle that, so here we go gonna come in I'm gonna wait till we're a little bit closer I don't like he's got missiles to shoot back so here we go I'm gonna fire that one off here try to get in there and watch the chaos and destruction there we go come on and boom that is awesome that is absolutely awesome actually let's see if we can go through the debris here uh, we might get to it before it hits the ground come on come on <laughs> there we go I wonder if you can get hit by that that would be a, kind of interesting. But yeah, we got one more missile to waste here, so let's go find one more target. And oh, the tutorial plane's back. I'm kind of curious why it's not spawning in, like, maybe more jets. There might be some options I need to look at, because I'd like to do a bit of dogfighting. This tutorial jet is history. There we go. Come on. Yeah, it's not going to miss. That thing's way too small. I think that's a... If I'm not mistaken, that's like a single prop. Yep, and it's gone. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Now, I did see where he's got his air brakes here, and that kind of gives me a little clue as to where I need to put mine, but yeah, that's a fantastic craft, and I think I'm ready to go grab us another one here. This thing is absolutely amazing. This is like the F-111A Nighthawk, I believe. It's a stealth aircraft that the U.S. uses, and this thing is so awesome. I had one of these models when I was a kid, and just the, the shape of it. Uh, it's absolutely astounding. Uh, I love this thing. And he's got this thing absolutely amazing looking. Like, I'm trying, still trying to figure out about those decals. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about trying this. And, whoa, what do we got going on here? Is this like the American flag on the bottom? <laughs> I'm not sure that's so stealth. But uh, uh, let's try this thing out. I love the body on that. That is awesome. So, let's see. Whoa. Okay, hold on. We're tipping down here. Okay, let's give it some gas. Uh, hopefully, we can take off from the grass. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's got a bit of a... It felt heavy there on takeoff, so let's put our landing gear up. Try to get the drag out of it. I like the flaps. I like how they... Uh, there's two of them on the wing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this thing in real life, the uh, wings will actually expand out. I don't know if that's like an air brake system that it uses, but I, I could be completely wrong about that. 
thing is so sweet looking. Uh, one thing I figured out about this model in particular, it doesn't have any weapons here. Uh, I don't know if you can stick, like, uh, retractable doors in the game. Uh, like bomb bay doors. Uh, I think that's the way this one operates. I don't think it actually carries the bombs just on the bottom. I could be completely wrong about that, but, uh, still a very nice craft, but it just doesn't have any weapons, so I don't have anything to actually test out here. And I'm trying to figure out what that backfiring noise is. It's been making it a bit, and I'm not quite sure what that is, but, uh, I guess one last thing to do, I kind of want to see this one crash just because of the amount of body panels it's got on it. I'm kind of curious how it disintegrates. Uh, a lot of times when you crash the, the aircraft, if you can get it to crash and not completely blow up, you can kind of tell like what parts they were using. So uh, we're going to try to skim into this mountain up here. So We might have just dipped in the water. <laughs> what? That is crazy. It dipped, the plane died, and then it came up out of the water. Okay, uh, that works. It was like a, uh, it was like a little rock. It skimmed, and did we lose a piece? Is that what's making that noise? Is that little flapping? Something's. I think we broke something. That is amazing. I, I didn't expect. Like I was like, oh, we're we're done. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what just happened there. I kind of want to do it again. Let's see if we can kind of skim across the top like a like a rock here so let's see we're gonna come in if we go down we go down we'll go check out the next craft here but definitely this is very awesome now if I didn't already flash the creator's name or say the creator's name this was uh, made by John DFG I think I might have actually not said it so I do apologize about that uh, actually we're gonna head into the, the wall here so let's go ahead we're gonna curve in see if we can come down and we're gonna skim here here we go Whoa. Uh, what? Uh, I got an achievement for that. Hair on fire, and the game is absolutely freaking out. <laughs> okay, off to the next one. Okay, this is the last thing we're going to check out here, and my brain is not quite comprehending what we're seeing. Uh, this looks like something out of Star Trek, and it's called the Apex A57 by Awesome Design 717. And I don't know what it is. It is amazing looking. Like I don't even, I, it's not even registering in my head that this was made in this game. Uh, this is from this is out of this world basically. So uh, we're gonna see how this thing works. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and position the camera about here. Uh, give it some gas. I guess it takes off like a... Oh, there's flaps. Oh, they're flaps. They're kind of like glitch. I don't want to say glitched in. They're built into the, uh, whatever you want to call the big things in the back. That is cool. Oh, this is awesome. Does it have... I think I saw a minigun. Oh, it's got a minigun. Does it have, a uh, have missiles hidden somewhere? Does it have the flaps hidden? Uh, let's see. Not seeing any, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't have some in here. This thing is insane. Like, this makes me very, very jealous of not being able to create like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to step my game up here. This thing looks so odd when it turns. You can see all the different flaps popping out. That is probably one of the most unique things that I've seen on here. That is crazy. Uh, let's get a good look at the front. I kind of want to shoot something down, see if this thing's uh, agile enough to chase something around. So we're gonna go into air-to-air -air mode and find us a target here. Uh, let's see, come on, it's probably going to pick up probably my first, I hope it doesn't pick up my jet. Like, it might, I don't mind if it picks up my first plane, my jet might actually, uh, I, after I've kind of flown it around a bit, I'm actually thinking that it's not a terrible design, so. Uh, let's go around here and see if we can find a target. Oh, right, I couldn't find an actual uh, air target there, we're kind of harassing the USS Tiny. Uh, I went to air-to-air -air mode and I sat there and it hasn't picked anything up, which is kind of strange. Uh, I don't have anything, I haven't changed anything from last time, but I don't know, I'm just watching how this thing works, and this is absolutely insane, just the way this thing handles. It handles good, it does skew out a bit, like I'm not controlling it here and you're watching it slip to the side, but I mean, I guess it's just the aerodynamics on it, but uh, still, this thing, props to this guy who made this, uh, Mr. Uh, awesome Designer, because that is... That is insane. I wonder how many hours he put into that. I'll have to read some more about that. But anyways, guys, all these creations will be in the description. So if you'd like to check them out, I think we're going to try to land this thing. And I don't know if that's going to go 
good at all because it doesn't really have landing gear. Like it was setting fine, but I'm not sure this thing's gonna land. So see here, putting on the brakes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? Okay, well the cockpit just took off. Um, bye. Wow. Where is it going? I don't really understand what just happened here. That is a uh, that is something. But yeah, that is a fantastic creation. Now, guys, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna format these episodes. Let me know below if you like this format. Uh, me maybe creating something. Uh, I didn't show the build because I really wasn't sure what I was doing. I wanted to take my time with it. And I, I didn't have time to really talk over it. So if you want to see me do the builds themselves, uh, let me know below. Or if you like the format that it's currently in. Now, if you do have anything you want to send me to check out, I'm going to flash the email up on screen. I'll be more than happy to check out your creations here because this is absolutely awesome. And this community is very talented. But anyways, guys, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we'll have some more scrap mechanic coming up tomorrow. And we will see you guys next time on Simple Planes. Thank you.